If you want to buy yourself some cheap games, Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus, make sure you check out Instant Gaming, the link is down in the description. There is some amazing deals including 70% off, so make sure you go check it out and see if there's anything that you want to buy. Alright, so what is going on guys? Welcome to some Factory Town here today on my channel. This is my fifth video on the channel, however... It's going to be episode number one, and I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, what? Why is it episode number one? And the reason for this is we got a huge update a day or a couple of days ago, which has changed a lot of the game around. And the main thing is to do with um, production and how you make coins and stuff like that. It's still similar, but it's not exactly the same. So I'm going to load up my previous world of where we got up to quickly just to show you exactly like things that have changed so um with the market things have changed a little bit so if i hover over the market right here not the market the general store initially we had like a giant ring which went around and if you had a house in that ring it would be fed now however they do need to be connected by roads and i think the main reason they've done this is you could kind of abuse the system by you could have like houses stacked on top of each other which then just kind of like cheated the system a little bit so with this if you're going to have houses stacked on top of each other you need to have them connected to a road so as you can see uh, these houses here are not actually connected so the way that i connect them is by going to paths building a road and uh, probably just simply putting a road like that and uh, there we go as you can see they are now connected now I believe this only goes up to a certain range, so I couldn't have a house all the way over here connected to a road and it would still work. But um, I believe that some things have changed along the lines of uh, how much food is replenished and stuff like that. I think each house now has like a cooldown of um, a food requirement, and if they don't need any more food, they're not going to take it. So the food market can't constantly just keep selling produce. It's going to require a house to require to need that produce. So it's also going to spread along the, the fact of that you can, um, you, you want to have different things sold at the market as well. So I believe that there's lots of different categories that you want to fill for a house. So like grain might be one, fruit might be another one, clothing. You want to try and cover all of these categories to maximize the amount of money you're going to get. Uh, they've also made some other changes like the grain, I believe decays a little bit quicker and stuff like that. So let's go back to the menu here quickly and uh, we can actually read through the notes here. So markets now consume items and generate happiness directly. Markets only consume goods when there is a sufficient sub capacity. So that's like I'm talking about uh, not too long ago. Items are assigned in quality tiers, one, two, three, four, and five, that can only satisfy market demand up to that tier, okay? Markets have a max quality tier that is determined by the number of upgrade levels of nearby road linked houses. Okay, see this is a lot of things guys. There's a lot of things that's changed here Which just made me want to start again so we can kind of design our whole town um, Off of these new changes and there's a lot of changes in this like it is like a complete Complete rebalance and a lot of things are gonna be that I've, I've never seen before and we've not actually been introduced to However, there are a lot of changes. So we're gonna go ahead and and create a new game once again and this is going to be should we have this map i feel like that's kind of a little bit too too meh let's go back to a plains biome um this one might work let's go with this one we'll go for a smoothing area there we go where where is where is us where is our starting area then around here somewhere We'll leave it like that, and then we will go and create. So this is going to be the property that we have. Do we have a house here? Oh, I need to place my base. Oh, so I can place my base wherever I want to now. Oh, nice. Sweet. Uh, where should we place our base then? I need to go to B. I need to go to buildings. And we can place our base wherever we want to. So we want to be near some trees, some wood, some grain. Um, see, that would be good as well. Also, one thing they've changed in the update as well is they've increased the chance of getting, like, other things spawning. So, there's a lot of carrots here. There's potatoes here as well. Most of the time, you only got grain. So, they've increased the chance of other things spawning uh, as well. Here's some sugar. There's some herbs. So, they have increased that as well, which is nice. I'm really curious where I want to set up my base. I might actually set it up here. Just set it up here. We've got some stone. We've got some trees. We have like a, a decent supply of grain right here as well. And there's a lot of grain elsewhere as well. I'm really unsure where to, where to build right now. I want to be pretty close to the water as well. And apparently, 
do we have any fish anywhere? I'm just curious if we have any fish. There's fish there, but is there any fish just over here? No, there isn't any fish here. Apparently, I might be able to build a little deck out here to be able to then catch the fish with workers, which would be quite nice. Anyway, I'm going to go build my base here. So, I'm going to place it... Where should we place it? I'm going to place it here, and then hopefully my workers are going to do a good job. And we're going to try and speed through these a little bit quicker, just to start off with, because you guys have seen all of this before. We want to try and get back into... Um, a kind of like situation that we was in before where we was getting a decent supply of wood and Stone and and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna get one of these workers to start getting um, Some of this stone as well. Uh, let me just go put a path there just so we can use it a little bit quicker and Let's go build ourselves our first house well, I mean, we could build four of them when we have the wood So when we're gonna build these houses, of course, it needs to be in range of the market a little bit and I, I may I don't know if I'm going to build up or not. I generally don't know if I'm going to build up or not. Because I would like to have kind of like some roads connected to them. But I don't like how it looks having houses on top of each other. I generally am not a huge fan of that. So I, I don't think I'm going to be going down that route. Uh, in the meantime, I don't even know where to have my houses. I might put my houses in a like a, a row here like this. And then I can remove these trees here when we when we need to. But for now, let's just put a path in here. We'll probably put the uh, market here once this grain has disappeared. Uh, let's get ourselves some more workers. There we go. And you guys can all just go ahead and simply put some of this grain into the houses. Just You go do that. You go put some grain into the houses. Because that's all we want to see right now. We want to see these gold coins. I always say gold coins. Yellow coins going up a little bit. Um, because that is going to be what we want. Ah, you see? You see? Look, guys. We need to wait. You see? Look, they can't just put this grain in here because they don't require it. They do not require it. Interesting. Oh no, actually, oh no, it takes time to sell goods. It takes eight seconds to sell the goods. So we don't really necessarily need that many workers at the moment working on that. Ah, interesting. So these are things that have changed. These are things that have changed. So with these two houses, we don't need three workers because there's already some. There's always someone waiting here. Technically, you can probably just have one worker doing all of those houses. So that kind of frees it up a little bit. Um, they've also added some more things down the bottom here. So select. What is that? Is that like? I don't even know what that is. Uh, we have build, remove block, research, production goods. They've added something down here as well. I think remove blocks is uh, is been added down here because I think a lot of people used it so often. It's nice to have it as a hotbed down here at the bottom. Mana brick is that new? And then they've added some new stuff up here as well, to be honest. Uh, gather five stone. Am I not gathering stone? Yes, I am gathering stone. Oh, I need to build a lumber mill. <laughs> that was why. I was being way too slow just then. Whoops, ignore me. Ignore me. What am I waiting on? What am I waiting on right now? Is it? Is it? Oh, it's a person. Okay, I need a person. Well, let's, let's get rid of you as well then. Let's wait till you, you put your wheat in there. Nope, never mind. There's already people waiting there. All right, let's go to a lumber mill. We're going to go do the lumber mill pretty close to the house over here. And then that can simply just go into the base afterwards then. So we're going to need to go make ourselves some planks. So we'll have... Um, you can go take those into there. You can get turned into planks and then we can put those back into the base, I believe. And back in you go. There we go. Just so we're in a scenario where we're just getting a... A good uh, economy. Can we upgrade our population? Nope, we need some more planks. Okay. In that case, then, let me just get this... Let me get this second worker over here. You're going to put that wheat in the base, aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> One other thing which I know they have changed in the updates as well is when you are making your own farms, you don't need to necessarily have the grain in, like, a base or something like that to be able to place it down. It's just going to require money now, which I think is so good. If I had a farm here and I wanted to put grain tiles down, I don't need to have the grain in my inventory. I just need to have the money available. That's all I need to do, which is actually really, really, really good. Anyway, I need to upgrade a house. So let me go upgrade that house, which is going to increase our population. I'm going to go pop two more of these down, mainly to try and get some some stone in, I feel like, because stone's probably going to be a, a bigger threat than anything else. We can also upgrade our base very, very shortly as well. There we go. We could upgrade our base if we wanted to, but I'm going to leave that for now. We're going to work on the market. So let's go get the market going, which is... Uh, oh, food market. There we go. Might just place it here for now. 
I don't know. I'm going to place it here for now, and then we can just move it once the grain runs out. There we go. So you should automatically go to the market, right? Are you going to the market? Did you go to the market? And look, look at this. Ooh, tier one, two, three, four. Ah. Interesting. It actually says how many houses. How many... Number of linked houses plus house upgrades. Oh. So, this is level 3 of 5 right now. Can we place more markets down then? No, we can only place the one down. I'm curious how that's gonna... How that's gonna work then. Oh. Huh. I'm gonna place you in there just because you're going over here, which you don't need to do. Why Why don't you just stand here? Oh, you're not even moving. There we go. We'll just put a path on there for now. Never mind. There we go. And we can upgrade our base as well. There we go. Let's upgrade you, which increases our house limit, which is nice. Grain mills, of course we need the grain mill. Of course we need the grain mill. Can we build the grain mill right now? Nope, we need another person. So in that case, can I remove a block with money? No, that is not the right thing. I still need to go over here and remove resource, which costs 10 coins, man. It costs 10 coins. I ain't doing that just yet then. I'm just going to do another house. Um, for, I can't even fit it here. That's so annoying. All right, I'm just going to place it there for now. I know that's not the ideal place. I just need some more people. I just need some more people. That's all I need. Although I could upgrade you as well, right? Yeah, we'll upgrade you as well. There we go. Right, so we need to do ourselves a grain mill as well. Let's go move you over here for a second. And then we'll go ahead and build a grain mill right here. Uh, nope, you can go that way. Can you go one along? You can go one along. Perfect. Nope, you needed to go two along. Ah, oh, man, there's just so many trees in the way right now. What is this? I feel like right now, I don't really care about this house. I'm literally, I just need to get this shoot up and running. Before anything else, I need to get this grain mill going with the flower. So we can then at least uh, start making some more money. Come on, there you go. Get down there. Put it into the grain mill. You can sell for grain then, which is going to be nice. I only need three grain for that. Okay, in that case, I'll get a couple more workers in the in the grain mill. Because that's three per per turn, which is not good. And how long does that take? Uh, that takes four seconds. So really, this should like work out perfectly fine now with these ho these two houses. Maybe one more worker. I don't know. This one grain mill is gonna produce enough for both these houses. Just I think it's just gonna do that. Probably not with this house, though. If we placed it down and connected it to the path. Which I might do just for now. I know it doesn't look very nice right now, but it'll look better. So that's connected now. We'll see how, how happy things people are going to be over that one. What do we got next here? we got the workshop next. So we're going to place the workshop right here. Man, I wish this, um... I wish these herbs weren't here. <laughs> there we go. we got the workshop. Lovely. So this is going to require... Uh, no, no, no. Let me... Leave a gap. There we go. Are you the other way around? There we go. So I'm going to leave a gap for you. You're going to need to go and create yourselves some wooden wheels. Is that what I need to do? It's wooden wheels, right? Yeah, I need to do some wooden wheels for some wagons. And we've got 42 of you in here. I've got so many people just all over the place here. I don't know who's doing what right now. Uh, you can go take some planks into here. And then once we get the uh, the wooden wheels created we can then start focusing on a wagon which start making some of these processes a little bit easier oh these are only four gold now oh is it only four is it only four now huh i'm not seeing it on here right now oh yeah it is only four Oh, it used to give five. Now it only gives four. Ouch. That is not good. That is not good at all. We're going to have to uh, fix that issue, aren't we? All right, we've got four wooden wheels over there right now. You can slow down. You can put some more wooden wheels into here then now. I'm going to need to sort out all these people. I've got so many of them. Let me just send them all over here. And you guys can, can go do what you want to do. So you can send your wooden wheels back into there. That's absolutely fine. Um, I'm gonna have how many how many wood have I got? I've got 49 planks right now. That's fine 
Um, I feel like I should have one putting wood into here, and then one putting planks into there. And then we'll have three doing stone, and two of you can do wood. I think that's going to work. I think that's probably the best option right now. So, can we do the wooden wheel now? Can we do the, the, the wagon? Oh, we need an extra person. We need an extra person, so let's just upgrade you. And let's get ourselves a wagon going. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Don't really know what I'm going to do with this wagon just yet, but I just need to have it placed down. So I'm going to leave it, just leave it like right there for now, because we're going to be using that wagon there at some point. Uh, I need to have them put a grain into a chute. Okay. Okie dokie. That cannot be done. I just want to remove these trees. Let's go remove these trees here. Remove resource. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Can we move you now? Hey, there we go. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Let's go do a shoot. Come on, out the way. There you go. And you guys can put your grain into the shoot now. Pop them into the shoot. There we go. That should, that should speed up the process a little bit. You've got... Am I still selling food here? Only slowly, though. I'm curious. Why is it not... So I'm kind of confused. It's not showing anything over these houses now. It's just... Huh. Sellable to food market. Grains. Hold on a minute. Is the food market independent now then? I'm kind of a little conf... I'm a little confused right now what's going on here. Because this has got max flour right now. But I don't know. I can't. How do I check what these houses need? I don't know what they're happy with. You know? That's where I'm kind of confused right now. I'm not sure what they're happy with. Because these have got 10. These are maxed out on, on wheat right now as well. Um, see, this only takes 0.5 to, to sell them. Hmm. All right, let me go. Let me go remove these trees here as well. Do I have the resources? I do. Only just. All right, let me go build another house here. I can build up to eight houses. So that's what I want to try and focus on now, and I want to see if then I can sell more. So if I can put all these houses down, we'll get a decent supply of uh, people. What am I missing here? Wood. Am I missing some wood? Are we getting planks? I think we are getting planks, aren't we? Alright, you can you can collect some more wood and, and pop it in. Shoo. There we go. How are you doing now? Are you selling quicker at all? There's not selling any quicker. I'm a little confused with... How this uh, is working exactly with the with the market? It's connecting to all of those. So it's like this here. This only shows a, a two here or something. You know what I mean? Hmm. How many planks have I got? I can upgrade these. Okay, so this can do three at a time now for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm really confused exactly what's going on here. Can I sell herbs to them as well? Can you sell herbs? Because if you can sell herbs as a different alternative, then at least that's extra money as well, you know? Uh, no, you cannot. Okay, then. So you're just going to put that in the house. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. This is where I'm really confused of what's going on. Can I look in the options with the... Nope. Options. Where's help? Where's help? There it is. 
buildings. The what's it called again? House. Increase pops on stocks and huge goods in exchange for coins. Okay, that's fine. Food market. Distributes and sells foods it automatically to nearby houses. No, but I don't want that. Market and house connections. Markets will link the houses uh, that are nearby or that are connected via a network of food paths or road. Footpaths or roads. These linked houses will provide bonus to markets that help them sell goods faster. Okay, so we don't directly sell food to the houses now. The houses buff how quickly the market can sell food. Each house can only link with and provide a bonus to one market of each type. If you have two of the same type of market within range of a house, the house will only link to the closest market, so you should spread out your markets. Happiness is based on a variety and quality of goods and categories that are currently satisfied at markets. Okay, so this is like totally different now. I said that things had changed, but I didn't realize they changed this much. Building upgrade houses near your markets, and those markets will gain additional demand for high quality items, allowing markets to earn more coins faster. As you upgrade your base, you will be able to build multiple markets of the same type. You can often achieve more happiness by building additional clusters of houses and markets. Okay, so can I build a second market yet? No, I can't. I can't build a second market yet, but apparently you can unlock more things for upgrading your house. And to do that, I need to get another wheel, which I probably should just go off the, the tutorial here. That would probably help, wouldn't it? Um, right, you can put some planks into there. And then we do have plenty more people as well, so you can go and put some wooden wheels back into here. We'll have a couple more of you guys getting some wood. Putting the wood into the thingy. Uh, are you still good on flower? You're still good on flower. And these houses are just giving a bonus, so... I think what's happening really is I'm only getting plus three, I think, right now. Whereas if I built a second market, then maybe some of these houses will go to that market. So I want to ideally kind of spread out my grain mill to be able to then spread between different markets. That seems to be the case. Uh, there we go. So we've un unlocked uh, more houses and unlocked paper as well. Can I build a second market now? I can build a second market. Okay. That's what we wanted to see. Okay. Let me go ahead and remove these resources here quickly as well. There we go. So if I move my market... Um... Trying to think how to do this. How would I do this? I want to have it so my chute can kind of like split into two. I might need to move my grain mill down a little bit. And then I'll just have two markets here, I think. Actually, no, I could just... Hold on a minute. I'm going to leave that market there for a second. Uh, let's remove these here, because we're running out of grain here anyway, so... Let's go move the grain mill like this. There we go. And then the chute can go back here. So you're still going to be providing flour. And then I'm going to do a second chute, which is going to go like this. And then that's going to go into another market, which will be right here. Like that. So this is getting... Yeah, so as you can see, it's kind of like separating it. So this is only getting two houses, and that's getting the rest of them. So let's go move you down a little bit further. And then hopefully that's going to spread the houses out a little bit more. Uh, let's go one more down if we can. There we go. And then we'll remove you. There we go. Okay, so that, they're just going to go straight that way for now. Uh, this isn't actually getting any grain, so it would have been good if I actually fixed this so they could actually get some get some grain coming in. There we go. Alright, so you're going to get the grain coming in there so you can actually start making the food again. Um, basically, once this fills up again, because this is only selling every so often. Oh, you're still only getting three of them, though. Oh, I, want you... I want you to get four of them. 
Am I going to need to make that go even further? I can see what they mean about spreading them out. Oh, you've got four, and you have four. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. So they're kind of spreading out a little bit now, but... This should slowly start filling up with grain. I'm going to actually max this out here as well. There we go. So that's going to start creating flour a little bit quicker. Once this is max, it's then going to start bringing it this way. And I might even pop a couple more workers out here. Nope. Nope. I hate when that happens. There we go. Just to get the uh, extra wheat supply in there. So this one's going to then start making some more money as well. Okay, so I can see why I need to kind of like spread the markets out now and stuff. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to need to do a lot of sorting out, but at least you don't need to necessarily cluster all your houses together now. You don't necessarily need to do that. However, I'm just going to go... Can I place more houses in here? Alright, I'm going to move that along one more then. Uh, I have no wooden planks. What am I doing? How many wooden wheels do I have? 23 wooden wheels. Okay, well you can... St you can stop doing that. Uh, you can start putting logs into here. Is anyone putting planks into there? I don't even know what they're doing. I literally am confused what, what everyone's doing now. This is this is becoming way too confusing. There's so many people doing stuff right now, which is becoming a bit difficult. Can I have them putting stone into a wagon? No, I don't think I can. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Right, for now, if any of you guys have anything, you just drop it off in there. <laughs> there we go. Right. Um, it might be easier to do kind of like shoots or something like that. So I'm just going to go with some shoots. Uh, no, because I don't have the plank. So in that case, let me just go ahead and get... Um, you guys putting planks into here. Nikki's calling me, so I'm just going to have to end this episode in just a second, guys. Uh, you can bring... The them over to here, and you can bring those over to there. Um, I'm gonna sort out the shoots here quickly, and then I'm gonna end the episode. So let's hurry up and get these planks done. I'll worry about the stone a little bit later on. We're not really using stone for much at the moment, so that's absolutely fine. And then these can place all this wood into the chute. It'll be a lot quicker. There we go. Alright, so you guys can just chill. You guys can chill. You can chill. You can chill. And you guys can put them into the shoot instead. Lovely job, Le. Alright, I'm going to end the episode there, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. We've definitely got a lot to learn about the new setup of the markets and stuff like that. It's definitely going to take some uh, looking into, but nonetheless, hopefully you did enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero, and I will catch you all in another video.